Welcome to the Assembla Files tool. Today I'll show you how to upload and describe files, add Google Docs, place inline images, see revision history and activity stream, search files, and insert clickable links to files. As you probably know, Assembla allows you to attach files to your tickets, messages, or chats. What you might not know is that you can view and manage all those files from a single place, the Files tool. If you don't already have a Files tab, you should install the Files tool from the Admin tab. The two buttons under the Files tab, Upload a File and Add a Google Docs File, are pretty self-explanatory. Two important points about this second one. When you authorize Assembla to access Google Docs, your password remains safe, and only the specific doc you choose can be seen or edited, and none of your other Google Docs. Now let's say I stayed up all night making a chart, and I want to share it with everyone on my team. Instead of emailing and attaching multiple copies of the file, I can use the image tag just about anywhere in Assembla. I can put it in my stand-up report. I can add it to a wiki page. I can even use it in a comment on a task ticket. Oh, I just realized I forgot to add the company logo to my chart. Instead of deleting the bad chart and uploading the fixed one, I'm going to edit the existing record by clicking Details, then Edit, and upload a new version. As long as the name remains the same, the links I put in before will now show my latest and greatest image. Notice how the Files tool tracks and saves every update. And every time a file is uploaded or changed, it shows up in your team stream. I'm having so much fun, I think I'll look for another file to share with my team. You can sort files by name or date. You can see all files or only ticket attachments. You can search using the tag cloud or for the file name or a word in the description. Once you have hundreds of files, you'll wish you'd spend a second or two adding tags and descriptions. You can search for whole words or just a few characters and an asterisk. You can also exclude words by putting a minus in front of them. For non-image files, you can make a clickable link in your text by using the file tag. If you don't like the look of the clickable link, you can follow the URL or internal name with the pipe character and some alternate text. So here are five things to remember about the Files tool. Use image for inline images. Upload revisions to maintain links. Use search operators asterisk and minus. Enter keywords for easier searching. And use file for clickable links and pipe for alternate text. Thanks for watching.